Conversation with boy, you know, then it's not a real conversation. Period. Come on, you know, I let the truth be told. You take it or you leave it, but you will hear it. So, have a real conversation with boy, you know, because <laughs> you know, I let the truth be told. So, a little announcement, a little announcement. Mm -hmm. My birthday, my birthday, my birthday is next week. Next week, August 11th, note it, remember it, write it down. <laughs> so, you know, because, you know, your girl got one birthday, one age, <laughs> unlike other people. Okay, 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 let me stop this. <laughs> but really, um, my birthday is next week, and I will not be posting a video next week. I'll be celebrating my birthday. So instead of a conversation like this, one on one, you are going to get a recap of my birthday celebration. So we your friend because you know we friends. Even if you're one to one not, we friends. How you doing, friend? Wish your friend a happy birthday and show me love. Show me love. I deserve it. I deserve it. All of it. Okay. Conversation. I believe a lot of people are in relationships but are not in love. Don't come for me yet. Let me explain why I believe so. I believe a lot of people are just faking it until they make it. You know, just connect with someone and try to make nothing out of something. Because one, they're either desperate or two, they are misguided, not making wise decisions. That a lot of people who are in relationships are not in love. A lot of people in relationships only for validation purpose. They want to prove something to someone. Or they want to prove to the world. People are just in relationships with no commitment. With no commitment. And... What is a relationship without a commitment? Even with acquaintances, every relationship has to be exclusive. Every relationship has to have commitments. You cannot be in a relationship with someone without commitments. And nowadays, there are a lot of terms out there to just justify the crap. And they're only there to just justify their behavior. Friends for benefits. Uh, what's another one? One night stand. Just talking. Just friends. All of those labels out there are just to justify their behavior. And they have no real commitments. That's why I believe most people are in relationships, but they're not in love. They either feel like their time is ticking, so things got to get moving. Things got to get moving. Or they just want to have fun. They just don't want to be alone. So they'd rather deal with something than nothing. And... A lot of people cause problems for themselves and yet sit around and get mad. You, you can't be playing victim when you play a role and play a role in what happened. You cannot play the victim. Where do we go from here? Because it has spread. It has spread so rapidly that people are now willing to just have something and then nothing. And a lot of people don't even believe that love even exists. 
A lot of people haven't even experienced real love. A lot of people don't even know what love is or what love feels like. And don't come for me yet. Because I know you want to say, well, love can mean something different to each individual. Understandable, love is different from each person because each person define love differently. But that's still, that's still not going to take away, that's still not going to take away from being in a committed, exclusive, goalie relationship. Those standards still stand. It's still there. Because I understand, yes, yeah, so love can mean something totally different to each one of us. And this can go for both males and females. This is not just for one particular group. This is not just for one particular group because males are males on a different agenda and so are the females. Yet to, I have yet to even hear men even worrying about when would they get married, will they ever find women, will will they ever have this, will they ever have that. Maybe I haven't. I haven't had those conversations and I haven't been a part of those conversations. Men don't worry about those things. That's not their concerns because they already know there are women, there are going to be women and they are going to get married and they are going to have family. Women on the other side, women on the other side, most don't even accept the fact that it could happen. And that's pretty sad. That's pretty doggone sad. That most women, that's the farthest thing on their minds. Most women truly believe that it may or may not happen. Is one or the other. It's 50-50. It may or may not happen. While men, on the other hand, is a solid. Is 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 solid for them. It's solid. Like they don't worry about those things because they know it's going to happen. Men don't worry about those things. Women, on the other hand, is 50-50. It may or may not happen for some women. That's what they believe. Not saying all. The moral is that women relax, relax, relax. You are already a wife and you don't even know it. You are already a wife and you don't even know it. Just be you. Just be you. He'll find you. Just be you. Relax. It shouldn't be a 50-50, maybe or maybe not sort of thing. Because if you're carrying yourself as such, it, he's going to find you. Just be, just be who you are. There's no ticking clock. I mean, realistically, age goes up and not down. Instead of our ages going up, we should just grow in wisdom. We should just be wiser every year. You know what I'm saying? You know? So, I'm just here to tell you, ladies, relax. Men don't worry about those things. They don't worry about when they will get married, when they will have family, when they will have this, when they will have that, because it's solid for them. It's something that's going to happen. So, you two need to be on that same mindset. Carry yourself as a wife, so with purpose. And just be that. He will find you. Understand that he who finds a wife <laughs> finds a good thing. You know. <laughs> so you are already a wife and you don't even know it, friend. Okay? Relax. Just be you. Move about with intentions. Move about with purpose. Move about with purpose and you will start to see your life having some meaning.
<laughs> and do not entertain those negative thoughts, those what if. Those what ifs are only there to play with your mind and play with emotions. They're only circulating you just to mess with your emotions. Do not entertain it and do not believe it. Do not believe it. <laughs> Relax. And fellas, if you're wrong, if you be thinking how the women be thinking, and I'm wrong, let me know. But I have never been in conversation where a guy would be like, you know, when would I ever get married? Would I get married? Wow. Would I have a family? Would, I, would this happen? Will this ever happen? Would, would, would this be this? Would that be that? I don't know. I haven't I haven't encountered those conversations. And I'm just here to be motivational. And just to let you know. And I feel like I need to have a movement where I show another perspective on things. Because nowadays, people are just taking the words out of context and twisting it to make other believe it to be something that is not. I want to promote a movement that you should not, you should not go with what a society is trying to feed into you. Keep your morals, keep your values, keep that all traditional. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And you know what they said, it's not broken, don't fix it.